Hello there, Internet version 2 here with Let's Play Yakuza 0, or as it's pronounced in Jap- well, not pronounced, but named in Japanese, and I'm gonna- Oh no, the game that I haven't played has no save data. I don't like it when PlayStation games rely on using the, like, Sony OS save data instead of their own, but besides- In Japan- the game is called, and I'm gonna fuck this up, Ryugakutoku, or Like a Dragon. That is the fucking music we want to start with when we start a game. Hell yeah! Badass white suit, smoking, ooh, badass black suit now. Stealing money off a dead dude? Cool eye patches, incredibly bright lights, some titties, I saw some titties there. Guns and cars and disco balls and money and boo ooh, booze. And ooh, ooh, naked strong dudes. I like that. Sports cars, sick tattoos, Vincero watches. This episode sponsored by Movement Watch it. No. Jumping for knives, die harding a helicopter, fuckers getting punched in the face. Probably a lot of spoilers. <laughs> Knowing Japan and how they like to do this. Grabbing boobs. Couldn't tell whether that was consensual or not. <laughs> the way it was done, it could go either way. Gruff dudes menacing at each other with varying levels of facial hair. Whoa! That that dude looks serious. Someone upset. Girls being manhandled. Noticing a lot of women being disrespected in this game. Makes sense, given that it is both Japan, or anywhere in the world, and in the 80s, also anywhere in the world. <laughs> Lots of gun. There's a lot of guns. There's a lot of guns here. That one punch sent three dudes flying. How, how did that... Battle of the Tattoos? More shirtless... God, I'm gonna love this game. People crying. Yeah, and given that's a hospital, guessing someone dies at some point. Lots of screaming and... Oh. Badass fist colliding at the end there. Punching. Boom. Fuck yeah, Yakuza 0. Let's fucking do this. Okay. So. Here is... Like, why I'm doing this, and my history of the series, my history of the series is none. I've never played the Yakuza game. The only thing that I know about the Yakuza series is that Yakuza 5 took forever to get localized to the West. Um, the series is having a current resurgence with this game and 1 and 2 being remade for the PS4 with how well the others did. All of them being brought to the West so I can play them all. And the reason I'm doing Yakuza 0 is it's set first chronologically, because it's a prequel to the first game. And the way I actually started with this game is uh, Super Best Friends. Well, I think specifically in this case it was Two Best Friends, because it was Matt and Pat. They did their LP of Yakuza 0, and I'm just like, oh, I like these guys, I'll watch this game. Oh, because like Pat's been talking about Yakuza 5 forever, and they did a Yakuza 4 or 3 LP, but I never watched it. And the game was looking pretty good and entertaining, and then there was a single scene that happened, and that scene made me go, okay, I'm not gonna watch any more of this LP. I'm gonna buy this game and LP it myself because this game seems fucking awesome. I'll let you know when we get to that. Um, it has to do with feet. That describes nothing, but it, it, it's a really awesome scene and I'll mention it when we get there. Okay, now the first thing, I was about to say the first thing is to check is subtitles, but given that this only has Japanese audio, I'm assuming they'll be there. Camera control, normal first person, normal, minimap on, rotation off, um, I'll leave rotation off as so obviously subtitles on, summaries, gore level, uh, okay, so there's mild and normal. Screen, uh, nah, that seems fine. That is uh, quite a number of options though. They give us a lot of different options, I appreciate that. Story events, online features, okay, uh, best of fighters, oh, there's online battles. There's multiplayer in this game, I know, oh, mini games. Uh, Mahjong, Zelo, poker, bowling, Nico, my cousin, we're gonna go bowling. No, we're just gonna start a new game. Although there's bowling in this, that's gonna be awesome. All right, we'll go normal. Oh, also the combat in this game seems awesome. It seems like real uh, fist fight brawler style. And from what I saw, I think it was episode three or four. It was really early into the LP, I think. Maybe a little bit later than that, where I'm where I'm just like, I'm tapping out to play this game myself. But that was also when the LP, when they did their LP originally, which was months and months and months ago. So I don't remember much details. Oh, <gasps> 
Okay, I remember this scene, but... Because this is the start of the game, but... No more! No more. So, this person... <laughs> private property, no trespassing. Well, we trespass a little bit to beat the shit out of this guy. <laughs> Just that slow walk up. Very, very threatening slow walk up. <laughs> Just throws him. People seem somewhat superhuman in this game. I'm sorry. Not as sorry as you're gonna be! Beats the shit out even more. Kick your man while he's down. That is the honorable Yakuza style. <laughs> oh, Jesus. That is a broken nose. And a very, very, very powerful foot. <laughs> I'm gonna rob you of your money. So fucking be careful. Yay! Game starts with our character taking money out of someone they just beat the shit out of. This is a game called Yakuza, so we may not be playing as the good guys. Maybe we'll just be playing as the not as shit guys. See, I, uh, okay, there we go. Camera Retro 21st Century Redevelopment Plan begins! Oh yeah, because this is in the 80s, the so 21st century is a big kind of way. December 9th, uh, 1988, Kamarocho, Tokyo. Aloha! Oh, people getting their nightlife party on. Uh, back in the days when nightlife existed. Oh, I'm sure it exists in places that aren't Sydney. <laughs> Everyone here seems incredibly wasted. Man, what? Fuck this guy! <laughs> I appreciate that there's no, like, walking by and getting bumped by someone, nothing changes. And everyone's just like, oh fuck. You know what, maybe I don't want to fight this dude. How could you not do He was like a, a full foot taller than all of you. The ball boy after plowing me into like that? Oh yeah, because he has blood on his face. <laughs> uh, I... Not this guy. He's your Yakuza, you may want to... You don't want to fuck with him. Look at all the blood on... Oh, yeah, he's just casually walking down the street with all the blood on his face. Man, you can see the pores so much in this game. Man, not many things tell people not to fuck with you than a lot of blood on your face. Oh. Man, this is very different to how drunken fights in Australia go. It's normally a lot of very, very awkward throwing, and then people catching up over drinks later. Except in my cases, because I don't throw punches back. People just get weird when they throw punches, and I don't do anything. And it's like, what? And they leave. A lot of drunken scumbags in my country, in case you can't tell by the everything. <laughs> Loan shark. So, fuck that guy up. Yeah, fucked him up. Can you not say this on there? Pardon the loose change, I didn't bring an envelope. You should have kept the wallet. The wallet would have sold for a pretty penny too. Spence just fine without an envelope. So we've already had a set, this is the second style of cutscene that we've already had. Here's your cut, 10% is promised. I must admit, like, for a cutscene that's like, clearly meant to cut down on development costs because, wow, those previous ones had incredibly high graphics so I gotta cut it down on some cases. These are kinda slick. Most heavy take off these days. Getting really accused with this price, you're doing, you're doing me a favor here, trust me. Oh, the kids your age are waving 10G bills at clubs. You gotta look like a super rich dude in front of all the other people. See, there's still movement in these cutscenes. It's not just, it's like, kind of static images, but there's still movement. Just don't make my mistake and blend into an idiot. 
But he grants a drop in the bucket, sure. Oh, it's about sending a message. It's, a, it's the principle of the matter. This is a slick way of doing cutscenes. Cheap. When you're spending so much money on all the others. I like this. Hardly no one knows what money's worth anymore. It's the 80s, everyone's just throwing money around fucking everywhere. I don't know what it was like in Japan, but I'm assuming it's the same way in America and shit. I mean, it's also completely fully voice acted, these scenes, so that's the impressive part, too. Work for me. <laughs> and a lot easier um, than on a Yakuza panel. That would require leaving the Yakuza, isn't that a super not easy thing to do? You <laughs> can buy happiness if you spend it wisely. Money's <laughs> a good choice. You're trying to convince the Yakuza to leave the Yakuza. Yakuza for life! That's the whole thing. I'm not that well versed in criminal underworld, but even I know that, Jesus. I wonder if being a criminal and beating the shit out of people for money can lead to a fulfilling life. Eh, depends on what you need to fulfill your life. <laughs> Go on, we can change your mind. I did read that fantastic article about, I think it was three Yakuza, like, I don't think they were like bosses, but like they were higher ups. Like played, I think it was it was either this one or Yakuza Three or something to see like how accurate it is to the like actual Yakuza world. I think it might have been this one because they're talking about the fashion sense of the eighties, and a lot of it was just no, it's fairly accurate. Ah, <laughs> oh, that that that's what we saw in the intro. Is this even the same music? Oh, it's a credit sequence. People waving money around everywhere. Like, I see this and just this lifestyle of just everyone not giving a single fuck and just partying and waving money around and, like, massive bustling, like, nightlife with, like, the lights everywhere. And I'm just like, that is just, like, not things now. Did you not realize you had the blood on there before? <laughs> I thought you did it for an aesthetic choice. No? You just forgot? Oh yeah, I beat the shit out of that dude earlier. I probably got some of his blood on me. Man, I want to go back to a period of time where I don't have to give a shit about anything. I mean, take me back then, I'd probably turn into a piece of shit person, which I don't want to be, but... I wouldn't have to care about shit. Fuck, no wonder privileged white dudes fucking act the way that they do. Jeez. And see the enjoyment that people... People who aren't having the shit beaten out of them. Oh, pages! Nah, I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. I need my smartphone. Oh, I'm too millennial to live in the 80s. This is what this is teaching me more than anything. I wonder if the cocaine back then was more or less pure than what it is now. Hard to say. Especially being Japan. Like, I'm even further removed from understanding what it was like back then. Hopefully this game will be an educational experience. Ha, I tricked you all, we're playing an educational game. Yeah, I am very excited for this game. Chapter one, bound by oath. I'm trying to think if it was like the end of chapter one that I saw. I don't know now. I don't remember, I don't remember how far in it was. It wasn't far. My memory- we're gonna get in this weird thing of like, the first like, parts of the game, I'm gonna have like, very shaky memory, and then we're gonna get to the point where it's completely blind from there. But like, for the first however many episodes, it's just gonna be like, wait, wait, do I? No, I don't know. This is where, uh... Would that be Nishiki or Nishiki? I don't- I, I'm gonna- I'm gonna go with Nish- Nishiki, for the time being. Said he'd meet me, um, be guess I better go there. Uh... So, uh, that's code for what you're up to. I'm waiting for your slow ass to show up. Oh god. And people think like, people think like BRB LOL stuff is complicated. I'm, I'm dating myself to like when I grew up as a teenager with those two being the things that I go to. Like I'm dating my teenage years. But people think that shit's complicated? Fuck, try to remember this shit. 
What does 80085 mean? Like, outside of the obvious. What does it mean in pager speak? May as well have a look around and see if I can find him. Fine, uh, Nishikiyama. Oh, that's, that's, okay, so the f nostalgic for the 80s. Yeah, let's go! Fuck, this game looks gorgeous. Um, I'm, is it running at, I think it might be running at 60. I'm sure it's, sh am I, am I recording it at 60? This isn't where Nishiki's meeting me. Okay, yes, yeah, seeing this game, like, like this, in, uh, without YouTube compression, fuck, this game is gorgeous. Damn! Alright. Uh, a 10,000 yen vending machine. How much money have I got? Uh, I've got 30,000 yen. You know what? Let's not immediately go for the slots, like, right at the start of the game. But arrows there. We've got... That is... This is a strip club. I'm guessing I can't do the other things until I meet Ooh. Nishiki. Oh, sorry. I'm running into everyone. Ah, get out of my way! Yeah! Do Assassin's Creed blend. I'm... Okay. I'm, get, I'm getting caught on people. Let's continue moving. <laughs> Oh, some people pop into existence. Come on, hand over the money. I told you I'd pay you back when I can, didn't I? I'm it's all voice acted, but it's all in Japanese. So I'm going to feel the need to speak out the subtitles, but I don't know. I'm just going to get my voice over the top of the Japanese VA that they worked on a lot and paid a lot for. Please, somebody help me. Rain shakedowns on Alta. Somebody needs to set them straight before they do anything real stupid. <laughs> yeah, you trying to, trying to shit where I eat? Fuck you. Somebody's coming. This ain't a show. Look at me. Do I? Yakuza? Are you sure is that Yakuza? I thought that's what that pin was. I figured that pin was Yakuza. He's our age. He's Yakuza. He's probably just an errand boy. <laughs> Guys, new in I appreciate how slow Kiryu already is. And what if we are? My family runs this part of Kamurocho. You were regulars, you'd know better than to do anything stupid here. Damn, look at that one in the front's boots, the big black one. It's a bit baggy for my taste, but damn. Look at that leather jacket! That guy looks like that one photo of, um... What's his name? Kamiya! Alright. Street hooligans, let's get our motherfucking fight on! Alright, how do we... Press square to repeatedly form a rush combo. Most basic method. Fuck you! Fuck you! Yeah! Beat the shit out of all of you! Fuck you! Brawl style! Yeah! Uh, no, okay. Press square during a tr uh, sorry. Press triangle during a square combat performer. Finishing blow knocks down the enemy. Uh, depends on number of times. Okay, so. There we go. So, one, two, bam! One, wait, wait. Wait. One, two, three, bam! Health gauge, uh, and in case my health, use a recovery item and eat something at an eatery, uh, to grab them. And he's blocking, uh, attacks to grab them and deal damage. And then beat the shit out of them. Yeah! Uh, and then I'm gonna grab you and try and attack you. Uh, hey, fuck you! Yeah, uh, okay. Slam people down into the ground, like this, yeah! And grab you and knock you out, yeah! Uh, training's now complete. Time to wipe them off. If you get hit, you can strike back right away with one of those buttons. It's a resolute counter. Game made by knocking down defeating enemies. Bang, how you do it. Okay. Fuck you. Screw you, Arakawa. And screw you too. Yeah. And beat you into the ground. Hey, fuck you. Fuck you. Oh. Bam. Uh. Oh, I'm gonna beat the shitty so much. I'm gonna pick you up and then slam you against the wall. Fuck you, million broken bones. And 192,000 yen that I just, I'm guessing, stole from them. Oi, oi, oi. It's all or nothing with you. Nishiki. It is Nishiki, yeah. <laughs> I was beating the shit out of street hooligans. Give me a break. <laughs> Akira Ni um, Nishikiyama of the Dojima family. That's my line. You're so late I had to find a way to kill time. Picking fights to kill time? Get a massage, be an adult wants to do something for your health. Are you talking about jerking off? I'm not interested in, ha in having massage people jerk me off. Is that what they're saying? Whatever. Yeah, let's get shit Let's just get shit-faced all night long. 
It's all good. Don't walk down alleyways. You want to say thank you? You did that. <laughs> like, it's very clear. It's just like, we did not beat the shit out of those people to help you. We did it because they were stepping on our property. Where the good. That girl there is faceless in the pink dress! Textures must load in from a distance. Uh, not load in from a certain distance. <laughs> I'll admit that you're finally starting to look the part. You make a pretty convincing Yakuza. Look at him! You're done with collections today, right? Is Kiryu walking with a limp? Or is that just how the, how the models look? Actually, uh, Kazama's mind. Kazama-san's mind at ease. I don't know about that. You always knew I could do this fight. <laughs> I'm assuming the dance of just like talking people. Crazy not to enjoy it all. Yeah, we're living in the age of excess. Like, there's titties in the background. Because Amazon's getting out of prison. Ooh. Try to learn a few new tricks by then. We've got a month to learn tricks before someone's out of prison. The rags you're wearing. Hey, I like his suit. You don't like the look of his suit? It's professional, but badass. Yours is... <laughs> Stry spotting suit that runs 500 grand for once, trust me, you'll see the world in a whole new light. I like your red jacket, Nishiki. Your undershirt is too 80s for me. Fashion's not my thing. Kamasa san never wore flashy clothes. I like Yuri's outfit, as, as I said. Badass and professional. He's the family captain, right? Number two in the whole Doja operation. <laughs> you can wear whatever you damn well please. So, because he's the boss, he gets to walk around in PJs because no one's gonna talk uh, talk to him about it. Fancy lighter of my too. <laughs> uh, nice to know. <laughs> <Quibbins> those... <laughs> nice to know that even amongst rich people, people taking each other's lighters is still a thing. <laughs> yeah, I knew the pin was that, yeah. They pay attention. It's only good as his image. So that's the thing, if I was walking along the street and there was two people threatening to beat the shit out of me, I'd be more scared by someone who's dressed the way curious. By far. What you see is what you get. Wow, we're getting real philosophical about how the 80s is, Nishki. Want to live like a rich guy, but you want to get all philosophical about it. We drinking tonight, you're going to keep ranting. Oh, <laughs> Nishki, you sound like the guy where you sound like the guy where it's just like, like ha having a smoke is just like, shit's fucked. This world's a prison and like nothing means anything or anything. Which is why it's totally fine for me to stay up until six in the morning, getting absolutely shit faced and sleeping with women who I don't care about. That's that's what you sound like, Nishki. Follow me. Oh, I can just hold the button to follow people. Okay. I don't even need to do a. Go oh, I need to hold a button, but I don't even need to do a goddamn thing. I can just take in the sights around me. Uh, I, I'm not interested, sorry. I'm trying all these places out. There's so many flashy places. Some are great, some not so much. We gotta know which is which. My ideal one is the is the most dive bar shit you can get. Be boring talking about any way you want. These are the fast times we live in, bro. Spend it's mine, you can double it overnight. Like at these places where you buy alcohol. What? <laughs> when you get on the hot tip there, you gotta uh, get around to keep that antenna up. Are you talking about dicks again? Sleep with the women to I feel I've I feel like you're taking Scarface's, like, money, power, women thing, but flipping in reverse. Uh... What? I say it's just 5,000 and then get... Nishki, you're a dick! What's the alternative? You'd go crazy! Nishki, you're a dick! Screw you! <laughs> If you're trying to legitimately tell me that you don't find a single like 40 or 50 year old woman attractive, you're a fucking like, you're, you're just a fucking picky bastard. You don't like to chill out, have some fun. Uh, Shichi Fuku Strain, oh this is gonna be a lot of 
someone who grows up in a country where they know very, very little about any other country playing a game that is incredible. This is by far the most Japanese game that I've played. I mean, I've played a bunch of other games that are very Japanese, but this one is like set in, like, meant to be set in like real Japan <laughs> with people speaking Japanese. And like, none of the names of things like changed to like, be westernized. I'm going to butcher the shit out of this game. Who's excited? Yeah. <laughs> what is this? A fight? Looks like it. Oh, we're watching more fights. People get f fighting. Oh, oh, okay, okay. This is this is looking a lot more a lot more like the drunken fights that I've seen. What's the What's your problem, bro? You got a you got a problem? Important business. Oh man, quit talking to those. Damn. I'm done it. I'm surprised I was be able to call that out on demand as easily as I was. This is not man, you small little punk. This is not. You said fuck you. <laughs> Adam. <laughs> and now you've done it. Come on, go in for the really, really, really wide hook to the cheek that does nothing. Eh? Come on, Grandpa. Take your best shot. <laughs> Screw it, they're completely wasted. It's not worth the trouble. Let's take a different road. Got a faster way. Am I just gonna beat the shit out of them? Yeah, I just need to sober them up a bit with my fist. Kiryu! I feel like you enjoy getting into fights with people. Is that just like, I just had to kill time to fight people because they were hassling, but this seems like, that was like, you could excuse that as biz, uh, biz, um, business. This just seems personal. Or is this just getting some practice in? Honestly, for these two, you can just push one so they fall over on top of the other one. I can't tell if you say this for a charity worker. <laughs> See, doesn't the way Kiryu, like, stands and holds himself in his clothes make him look way more badass? I'd be way more worried about him approaching me in the middle of the... What you blabbing about? Stay out of this. Yeah, but... Ow. Do to do to do smell can I'm sorry. Drunkards! Are they gonna fight with drunken fist style? Uh, the heat gauge! The three blue glowing bars on top left are called the heat gauge! The heat gauge starts to, uh, first bar, he attacks here, and then it goes up to the others. It shall be your speed increases. Some moves require a certain level of heat, so once you use the fight, keep an eye on your heat level. Once Kiryu shifts to the second or third bar, his body begins to glow with Super Saiyan powers. It's called heat mode and signals that you can use special heat actions. Try using heat actions while sobering them up, okay? <laughs> Uh, press circle with a bar and then... Okay. He... <laughs> just... Concussion! Broken skull! Okay. Grab and... He! So many bones broken. How does this look more brutal than the Batman games that I've been playing? Training is complete. If you take fighting stance using R1, moving with the F will, um, center in the enemy in focus. It, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, ow. Fuck you. Okay. So I can lock on the people quite easily. Okay. Oh, you're fucked. Yeah. yeah! Ow! Screw you, buddy! I'm gonna heat move the shit out of you! Fuck you! Oh, yeah, headbutting that guy twice. He's totally alive. Bunch of bonus things. 200,000 yen. I just get money for fighting people. I'm assuming I'm stealing it off them. I think I do see cash flying out of their bodies when I beat the shit out of them. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry, mister. Why is it? Where am I? What was I doing here? And who are you? And why are most of my bones broken? How did that soap that... Must be a delicate touch. I remember watching music videos at that bar that we were talking about which idols we like. Oh, they're gonna get into a fight again. So I'm making fun of poor, poor, sweet Ch Shoko chan and then my head's open, I can't remember past that. Go home. Ow. Aww. And now they're friends. See, this is more like the drunken fights I've seen. Just the people normally, the people who are friends, usually the ones fighting each other, and they actually fight each other, not they get into a fight with someone else, lose, and then become friends. Yeah, we made new friends. Well, we made people that made friends. We made people make friends. I don't... Words are hard. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah. The completion list. Completing certain challenges will earn you CP. You can view them from the pause menu under completion list. Some things will probably happen on their own as you play the game, but others require more deliberate effort. For the temples or shrines to access the CP exchange menu, where you can exchange things for being able to sprint for longer and earning more cash from fights. There are big helps to take a look. Okay, where was that? Completion list. Oh god, there's so many different- th oh god. There's so, there's 371 different- so what did I complete in battle? Defeat five enemies in brawls, so, oh god. Oh, there's a shitload here, isn't there? Oh, there is so much. And a bunch of- okay. So, oh, okay, yeah, some of these seem like- okay. Some of these are fucking things. Okay, as, as in actual set of pages, equipment. Okay, there's a lot here, but I guess we'll learn about that later. All right, following Nishki. What? what a waste. A damn shame, I say. Who's this old fart talking? What? Oh, I know this guy. No, I remember this guy. I remember this guy from the... You gotta, you gotta punch like a two-ton gorilla and you go to waste it on drunks. So you think that talent was meant for all that raw fighting prowess. Oh, I remember this guy from the... LP that I watched! Mm. It's Barkers! Not Barkana, like the JoJo word that I remember the most. And I know it's Japanese, but I hear it a lot in JoJo. Musk Bakana. I just helped a couple guys work off some alcohol. Yeah. That's all. Yeah. <laughs> That's the point. That's the problem. You want to talk a a a alcohol? Sorry. You're taking one swig from a vintage bottle and tossing the rest. Going from the look at you, you Japanese mafia, yeah? Uh. How, how could you tell? Something yeah. like that. Yes. <laughs> Seems like you're pretty confident in a fire, real dynamite boy. Calling me boy? <laughs> Don't get ruffled now, kid. What the f Compared to me, you're practically a toddler. Hey, Kiryu, what's the hold up? It's nothing. Be right there. I'm just talking to an old dude who has homeless fashion sense. He rocks it, but he has it. No sense wasting time on this drunk, I should just go. Too much booze is bad for you, Gramps. Take hey. care. Hey, now. Hold up. Wait, I got one piece of advice for you. I got a friend waiting for me. If you got something to say, make it quick. Ah ha! Ever know your main dog? Me and the boys used to really wreck it back when I was your age. Come on, come get shit faced with us. It's, I'm sure you won't be imposing on Nishki at all. But if you spend all your money playing around, you'll never get stronger. You gotta invest in yourself. Like a gym membership? Nah, nah. That's no better than spending it on booze. But it's a chip. What? Talking about investing in yourself. Literally. Literally? What does that even mean? <laughs> Glad you asked, my boy. Here's a special lecture just for you. But abilities are now available. Shred up money and inject it into your veins like your Michael Magic Johnson with AIDS, and boom, you get powers. All right. Bo okay, boosting health, boosting health. Essence of Steadfast Counter. Ferocious Assault unleashed after being knocked down. What do we got here? A uh, lot more health. Extra Quick Step. Ooh, I like the I like the idea of that. Draw upon energy deep within you. Um, to, with sand attacks that would normally knock you down. Ooh, I like that. What do we got here? Throw your body uh, behind a vicious kick while running. Uh, mighty knee strike. Uh, regard. Right after an enemy breaks through it. Uh, when, oh, can only be used when calm. Interesting. Uh, body counters. Okay, what do we <laughs> Master. Uh, quick step blur. Oh, okay. We quick. Okay, so quick step is X, I've learned here. <laughs> so I do have a dodge. Tortoise spirit. Spry mark. There's a lot here that I'm looking at. Okay. Heat gauge will slowly rise over time when you're wounded. Only fill up to the second bar. Power surge. Increases the power of attacks in that. White Tiger, enemy, uh, he gave you rise when you taunt an enemy. Oh, I can taunt with that too. Uh, I'm learning controls by reading this. Also, a lot of this costs a lot of money when I've got 400,000 yen. Like, some of these are in the millions. So, what what should I go for first? I'm gonna go for this one. Flying Wayne. There we go. Oh, I gotta... I, I gotta hold it. Literally investing money in myself. Yeah! <laughs> Alright, now I can do a running kick. Fuck yeah. There's a lot there. Alright. You keep putting money into yourself with little training and talent will be grown no time. Keep the women in white on a budget. Investing in myself literally. Never thought of that. Because what the fuck does that even mean in, <laughs> like in a real world sense? <laughs> Bet you gl glad and stop listening now. Guess I am. Here you! I'm coming. Seriously, kill my boss. Time for round two. You have a good night, boys. Or my boy. 
All right, can I test it out now? Do I have to get into a fight? What a weird old man. What's his deal? I'm guess I'm guessing I have to be in a fight to do any of it. Yeah, come stay close. All right, I'm just gonna hold it again. Yeah. Oh, we got the music going. We have got posters everywhere. These posters everywhere is kind of a mess. Well, that being said, we're heading into a back alley to go somewhere drinking, so it feels like this is going to be more along my style. A little food joint like that. Seeing alleyways like this is making me think that Melbourne and Japan are more similar than I expected it to be in terms of, like, their nightlife culture. I'm okay with this. I like Melbourne's nightlife culture. I like Melbourne's culture to begin with. It's better than fucking shithole Sydney. Woo! Shithole Sydney. Alright, well, we've got people who are drunk sleeping on the street and drunk throwing up on the street, so it's not super glamorous. You like it here because it's not classy. Huh. Isn't that part of the draw? Stands a perfect fit for the newly minted rich playboys this economy's churned out. Yeah, so yeah, it wasn't just America that had, like, a bunch of rich people created due to the 80s. Thirsty for booze and women and Camarojo's got both in spades. They overdose on women, you heard it here first. When you start waxing poetic. Not that you're wrong. You taught me! I learned it from watching you! Alright, we know someone. Hello! Hello! Two very different fashion senses here, but both incredibly 80s. <laughs> Who are they? I've got no idea. <laughs> College girl slash hostess. Madoko chan and Yui chan. Huh? What? <laughs> Hi there. You never call me back. When are you coming back to the club? I'm just gonna go out and say right now I don't understand hostess clubs. It makes like it makes sense in Japanese culture. I just can't imagine it. Here. Like, as from my understanding, is hostess is like paying the women at nightclubs, which I'm fine with. Like I'm I'm very pro sex worker. It's literally my, my plan for my real life job after my current one of what I'm currently working towards. It's more so that it's like paying women at a nightclub to hang out with you for the night. Like, like I'm fairly certain that hostess clubs in this like regard are explicitly non-sexual. They're just come drink with us and have fun with us, and we'll flirt with you to make you think like it's going somewhere. But we're explicitly non-sexual. I mean, we're talking about the same country that has like rent a friend as a business. So I under <laughs> don't tell me to think I let them play me for that. It's not like that. Building connections with girls is important. Whatever you say. Guys higher up the chain than us in the family? Not very popular with the ladies. Oh, because they're the ones who are actually organizing massive crimes to ruin people's lives. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Okay, I feel like once again you're doing that thing where it's like shit's fucked but I'm gonna use it to my own advantage. I'm not, I'm not stopping till morning. Uh, 